a project for like Ruby Bridges and how she integrated white and black schools together. And she was the first person, uh, the first black person to go to a white school. In the beginning of the school year, we got an email that told us about the National Walk for Ruby Bridges Day. And so our equity team jumped on it and brought it to the faculty and staff in September and we ran with it. So we did um, two weeks leading up to the event. All classes learned about Ruby Bridges. We had two whole school books. We read about her, we watched videos about her, and then we came up with ways of how we could be activists like Ruby and what differences we can make in our community. So every grade level and or classroom came up with one way they could give back to the community. So we have people who created kindness rocks, some first graders, first graders who created a video and slideshow. We had a second grade, a whole second grade come up with um, a song where they wrote the lyrics and then used AI to create music behind it. We had third grade classes that collected items for the Humane Society. We had a kindergarten class, collect things for um, uh, cancer patients at the hospital. Uh, so it was really just about learning that it doesn't matter who you are or how old you are, you really can impact the community in a positive way. And then it led up to um, two days this week, we did safe routes to school, um, where we created routes around neighborhoods and walked to school together. We had over 39 families participate in that. Um, Essex High School students also came and walked with us. And that was really about getting to know your neighbors better and being outside and being healthy and together as a community. And then today, November 14th, was the actual day where Ruby Bridges walked into the school for the first time. And that's why this event occurs on this day. It's really just a wonderful way to think about us all as a community, despite our differences, celebrate our differences, and really promote anti-bullying and anti-racism.